All right. Once again, we're back. Oh, those multigrain chips. Mm. Get them at Costco. They're uh, got flax seeds and sesame seed and quinoa. Hmm. Not bad. All right. So um, I want to find something that we're interested in that's not too detailed and um, something that, you know, like a popular toy or... Anyway, if you have any questions, just see your teacher. Uh, the main thing is you don't want it to be too detailed or too flat. You know, like a baseball card. It's just too flat. And you're going to trace that item in the same way as you trace uh, your face in Adobe Illustrator. And so I'm going to go into Illustrator here. <clears throat> and I'm going to do File Place. Again, never file open File Place. And I found this online. And I'm just going to shrink it down. You know what? I made a mistake. Never mind. Don't place it on this yet. Make a new canvas. File new. Um, <coughs> as long as it's in inches, I'm going to say this again. As long as it's in inches, it'll work. Create. It doesn't have to be 18 by 24. <clears throat> Alrighty. File place. Okay. Just hold your shift key down and shrink it. Alrighty. Lock this layer. Make a new layer. And call it um, lines. You can even take the opacity down of this layer if you want. I'm not sure where my options went. I'm having a hard time finding my options. Is it in properties? No. Anyway, I'm not sure what's going on, but your your opacity will be up there at the top. Um, I can also find it in transparency here. That'll work. Okay, back up to here. And then... <clears throat> You'll notice we skipped a step. That step where in Photoshop you do the filter, sketch, photocopy, and you turn this into a black and white. I'm just going to do my tracing lines right on top of this photograph. Um, if you want to do that one step in Photoshop where you use that filter on your um, item that you're going to put in the caption bubble, you can do that. I'm just going to use the photograph, though. So I'm going to press N for the pencil tool. Right, everything's working out good, and I'm going to kind of go around. I know I'm not doing a very great job of tracing this. It's, like I said, it's not easy with um, without a mount or without a uh, tablet. I'm going to get lots of nice line variety in here by going to my stroke panel and Oh, let's see, what can I do here? Uh, let's do something like that. Maybe that's a little too much. There we go. I'm also gonna show you another tool called the Width Tool. So if you click on it and you press Shift W, that is Shift W, you see you to this tool called the Width Tool and you can pull one of these lines out and change the width of just that one part. I'll try that again. There, and you can bring, you can actually make it thinner too. And pulling it back in. All right, I don't feel like you have to match your picture perfectly. Back to the pencil tool, and I'm just going to go in and go. Something like that, I can play around with it later. I'm doing this fast right now, so don't judge me too much on my uh, ability to trace this here. Yep. 
E. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to want to make some changes to that. Uh, pencil, I just want to get this done so I can get it into the... You can be as detailed as you want, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm getting the hang of it here a little bit better. I'm just kind of making this up here. Doink. Like, yikes, Scoop. Okay. Um, I'd probably want to play around with a few things in here. Um, maybe that filter is a better idea. I'm going to get rid of this initial one. That was just awful, right? <laughs> Pencil. figure finish those anchor points off um, all right so that's my ice cream so far I definitely want to add some more detail so maybe it is a good idea to use that filter it's it's up to you though um, you can add these other things here like what you don't want to do is you don't want to shade You just want to use line. And you can go around and change the line width. Just like... on your face. I don't like that line. That's freaking me out. And I don't like this skinny line. That's freaking me out too. Why do I keep going to that? It's down here. Ah, yes. Okay. There we go. Line variety. Thick and thin. Thick and thin. Thick to thin to thick. Here we go. Okay. All right. I am going to not finish this whole thing because it's just going to take too much time and this demonstration is already getting long. So after you spend some more time making it much better than the way I made it, mind you. I can't, I'm having so much fun, I can't stop. All right. Uh, I can't stop. Ah. Ah. All right, file, save as. Ice cream. Dot <laughs> AI. Include linked files. Okay, go to your original document and then file, place, ice cream. 
Oh boy. Ice cream at grandma's house. Lucky. <laughs> it's very nice. Oh. This is good. All righty. Thank you.